Okay. I mean, I, I can hear you, yeah. Okay. Um, all right, let me go uh, to the main screen, and I'll do an intro real quick. And then, yeah, count, uh, the countdown's going to be when I take character select. I'll, I'll do another countdown at the end. Okay. All right, so yeah, my name's DB Cade. I'm back again with Fatal Fury Wild Ambition, the lesser known but still awesome Fatal Fury game on the PlayStation. So I'm playing the PlayStation version. This was originally released on the arcade. Why it has arcade mo mode? Um, today we're going to be doing the easy mode. So my goal here is to kind of uh, try and beat the current world record holder so um that person is uh i want to give them a shout out real quick because they put a lot of work into this game too but it should be alberto son um and one one thing to know about this game is that it pretty much plays like uh, a lot of other fighting games, but it is actually 3D. You can actually truly roll into the background, dodge, and things like that. However, the 3D wasn't integrated too well, so you won't be watching me do that function that much because it'll actually be a time loss and things. Yeah, Albert AC3 is the current record holder. So our goal here today is if we can beat the in-game time of 6 minutes and 19, that would be cool, but anything under or around 10 minutes is also awesome. So, and there's a little bonus. Uh, if I can pull it off, I'll let you know that there might be a little bonus here um, at the event today. So, let's go ahead and go into arcade mode now. We've shown our settings and get ready for some wild ambition. Um, so this story, everyone's thinking like, you know, Geese is the bad guy, but like, I actually think like he's a great dad. Like he left his kids like, you know, in like, they left them in like a bad neighborhood to just teach them some good lessons about life and things like that. Like he brought them to America. Like sounds like a great dad to me, you know? And, uh, <laughs> so you know, a lot of people give it, give uh, give the old Howard son some 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 heat, but um, you know, I think Terry and Andy, and uh, and Billy all all learned great lessons, and so uh, in order to prove that theory, we're just going to show how much not only that dad can't be beat, um, but that um, we have some some great lessons ahead. So, I, um, we have a we have a little bit of time, so I want to show just. The, the silly opening here. Uh, this this game actually has like a ton of like lore in the the King of Fighters Fatal Fury timeline. So if you're into the story, it's a must 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 watch, especially for all the cutscenes. Now we're only going to be showing this one, but um, of course you know think about it. He would have never got invited to Smash if he hadn't put, put through the hard knocks and really had to <laughs> to do some. So they, but, but oh. Actually, like, this scene doesn't make too much sense, but, yeah, apparently he just, like, I guess he dumped them off here. Uh, this is the first time that they officially, like, say that, you know, he's a father and they give them, like, the whole storyline. So it's pretty much, like, from this game and onward that the whole, like, you know, 
Rock, Andy, Terry, like, uh, and then Geese, like, storyline got intertwined together. Um, and they even go over to, like, into, like, Mr. Karate and, like, some of the other things, uh, which I think is kind of interesting. <laughs> this, this game was trying to put a story to it. But uh, the I'm only it's only disappointed we don't get to see more of these uh, these cutscenes, um, but we do get to see some awesome fighting here. I'm um, do my best to explain all the characters' abilities, but hopefully I won't have to really go into detail. But just know that the AI once they kind of start to get a knockdown on you, which means if you get n actually knocked to the ground and have to wake back up, uh, their pattern can change, and they get a lot more difficult to fight. So in general, I don't want to get knocked down too much. And there's actually a few characters in this game that can KO extremely fast in the hands of the AI, but not in a, an actual player. Um, the, the AI kind of has a weird blocking system where certain moves, they'll just always block. Uh, you know, this, they turn on that, that god blocking system and anything you try and throw at them, they will just rub out and shrug off their shoulders. All right, one of our masters got beat up. Yeah, Fatal Fury. The game that tries to explain the lore behind the hat. <laughs> now, now you know. <laughs> it's this guy, who I don't remember his name. <laughs> but it's supposed to be a sad scene. But it's just, it's just a, a, a goofy, goofy, goofy time um all right but we'll go ahead we'll go ahead and get started um we actually get to pick any character we want so the, again the opening doesn't make too much sense and uh this is just going to be the geese is a good father <laughs> and ending so time will start in three two one go now it is completely random who we get in our set. Tsugumi is a character unique to this game. Thank you very much for the good like. Good luck. Um, she has kind of, um, I would say, like quick attack combos and can do handsprings and all sorts of stuff. So very um, agile character so we're going to do our best to make sure that we just keep our string going because we don't want to give them too much of an advantage but I'm actually going to implement a new strategy here that hasn't been used I haven't actually shown at all on my stream or anything and it looks like it worked so, basically what this game does, it has a lot of frame traps in it. So, if you put yourself in a certain position, that means the opponent is not going to be able to do an attack because they just don't have the data to do. They don't have the ability to do this, uh, to punish you for the most part. Or the AI won't choose to select their option. So, I actually have did not do this in practice um, either because I wanted to save it for the stream. I did it like one or two times to see if it works. Um, Zhang Fei has been in other games. In this game, her attacks are just too slow. So outside of her a few counter abilities, she's not going to be able to do too much to us. Uh, when our gauge gets to max, by the way, we can actually cancel into a blowback move which can extend our combos and also the enemy either has to avoid or dash back because it will actually break the enemy's guard. Um, it works a little bit different from other King of Fighter uh, games that have been out there. We, unfortunately, we got Mai. Mai is a little bit difficult. So I don't know how much of that s strategy we were just using we're going to be able to get away with. But maybe we can get some on the... We'll do a rebuke in. 
So Repukin is just extremely, extremely strong in this game. It's it's also a really, really big projectile. While Mize has good good attacks, but she doesn't have the she doesn't have the um, projectile uh, pressure that she does in other games. This should be counter hit, so it should be about a uh, fourth of the life here. Oh, so unfortunately I missed my 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 uh, my blowback attack there. Sorry, I was going for a perfect, uh, a perfect. So far, we have no round losses, which is awesome. We're put out Rebuke, and this should be able to hit. By the way, Geese is extremely strong in this game. Uh, it feels, it feels bad, but he's not a boss character. I just want everyone to know that. Um, there's, there's not nothing in incredibly like special about him in this game. He just has ridiculously long chains, and. Uh, is a little bit overpowered. Joe is a Joe is just a little bit annoying to fight in this game. Uh, we have to just make sure that we we counter certain moves. There's the blowback move, um, basically being unblockable. Um, we might take a, a round loss here, but I'm hoping not. There we go. There's the hurricane kick. Oof. Yeah, we might take a round loss here. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's chip damage for me. Sorry, I tried to be a little sneaky. Unfortunately, I got uh, some some bad AI AI choices. So, yeah, Joe is one of the ones that we just we have to block. But the AI likes to do a lot of stuff that's very unsafe. And will allow us to punish them for free. Oh, here we're gonna get the. Oh, we got knocked out of our blowback combo. Very rare. All right, there we go. There's a round. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Someone knows the power he is. Uh, yeah, the the stuff he says in this game, I still haven't been able to like understand what it is. It it is uh, uncomprehensible. See, there's the AI rolling out, but we did a lot of guard damage to them, so it's pretty much a guaranteed um, guard block in that situation. for the down combo yeah they, they gave uh, a lot of characters like special um, special abilities uh, when they're on the ground so now you have like off the ground attacks when you get close to them uh oh I'm watching the comments about some some that it's not a big deal again it, you know even if it's cutting out um, if you want to see some some cool combos and strats, I played this, and and a bunch of um, a bunch of other uh, fighting games and retro games on my channel. I just happened to pick two games that have just never been featured online. I wanted to give uh, this is a special event for um, Insta Speedathon, so I wanted to make sure that it was stuff that was exclusive, that's never been featured before. And one of the reasons I've never done this an event is because of this character right here, Toji. Toji does not work uh, as a character normally but in the hands of the AI they do every single combo right with this grandpa and it's it's kind of insulting how good it is um, as you can see he actually hasn't done like a single real combo to me but it doesn't matter because he gets away with it now he's the only character that really gets away with it too So yeah, he has some of the, the the AI for some reason will always get counters with him, 
um, and they'll always be able to do counter hits. They just, for some reason, the AI knows how to anti-air, how to do things near near perfectly, and I'm also never able to really punish. I this 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 unfortunately got this AI, and this is harder than the actual uh, final boss of the game sometimes. So, Toji proving to be difficult. Alright, very cool finish. Now, I can't remember in this game, there is a little bonus... And I can't remember if it's you have to finish all rounds perfectly. You can't lose a, lose a round or you can't lose it all. And you fight Mr. Karate. But we might see Mr. Karate in. But I might have messed it up by losing that one round. That was the bonus that I was going to share. But I will show um, I will show it off another time. There will always be another event. Or like I said, later at a later point. I tried to set up for a little, uh, little unblockable, a little reset there. So what, what that little combo does is it puts them in the air and it gives me a chance to choose uh, a low attack or a high attack. Because uh, surprisingly, the AI in this game is pretty smart. Even on easy, um, they're doing things that you wouldn't normally see, uh, even like human players do. Oh, he got right out of my way. See, that the the play by the computer right now is actually insane. You got to see the the counter hits, everything. Alright, so our next fight is versus Yamazaki. He is extremely difficult to fight. Uh, he has long reach, uh, can has uh, counters as well. So we have to just be careful about which uh, which moves we throw out, and we have to be careful about our spacing as well. On top of that, uh, he's supers do a lot of damage, and he has a grab super that can do uh, half of our life right now. So Pete, if you were to land that, it would actually kill us. In addition, he has that little scoop move that we you never get to see, but of course he did it for the marathon where um, he can move forward. Now, we might be able to get through this if he gets hit by... We have to be careful because um, Yamazaki can actually throw our projectiles back at us, so... Yeah, unfortunately, um, freezing is not allowed on the leaderboard for this game. So there's, there's nothing I can do about it. But I'm still happy to show it off. So. Yeah, unfortunately, there's very little we can do about it as well. Uh, we're on, it's just a dodgy connection. It's not a big deal. I'm not... It's not a big deal. I'm just glad I get to show off the game. showing that we cannot give him too much space. Now we have to be careful that can go low or high. Ooh, we got scooped. There's actually, I can do an air projectile, but 
it might it's not the best because he can he, really the way to counter that in this game is uh is just run underneath uh geese Oh, there's that counter move I was talking about. If you're saying kakata koi, means you like come at me. Uh, that's when you know that that counter's coming. He's had that in every single game. There we go. And canceling the blowback there just gave us free advantage. So that was a true trap. There was nothing really that Yamazaki could do there. And we are at the final boss here, Terry. So time will be on the last hit against Terry. We've had a really excellent run so far, by the way. So my personal PB in this game with uh, Terry of all characters is, uh, is 10 minutes. So we're still on a great pace. Flip over and rebuke and see if we can punish that in the air, and we're able to. Uh, the reason I jump after that, by the way, is that sometimes, sometimes uh, the AI will not block after the jump in so you can just kind of do this jump in reset loop but I've gotten a very hard AI pattern this game as you've seen they've actually put up an incredible fight um, ooh, there's that rising tackle oh there's that counter There we go. See, I got hit. Power wave going right under it. Ooh, it's not going to work on Terry, is it? Ooh! Terry is extremely strong in this game, so I can't... It's not... It's still anyone's game. Guard broken, which is going to allow me to get the extra hits. And we should be able to put this back on course. Oof. There's that 3D not being very nice. We should have been at uh, guard break pretty soon. Just trying to play really nice here. That was a strange grab. But I, I have to respect that. How that missed, I don't know. But that is time right there. And you know, some lessons are hard and... He's just going to have to come back in another game. But, yeah, so, Geese, Geese overall, thank you very much for the GG. Uh, Adrian is on. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Matt Internet's on. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I, I, I really think um, Wild Ambition is a fun, goofy fighter. Uh, if you like King of Fighters, if you liked other games, it's also one of the easier ones to kind of ease into because the game doesn't, it doesn't give you like a hundred different combos to deal with, which King of Fighters is known for, um, <laughs> you know, for, for being a little bit uh, overwhelming. But Wild Ambition, um, I, I, even though it's called Wild Ambitious, actually... Uh, made it so that it's it wasn't too ambitious. Uh, I think the only thing ambitious about this game was the 3D, the rolling in between backgrounds and it being kind of mm, outcasted because of that. Like it, 
you know, this was around like the first kind of attempt that SNK took to do 3D fighters. They would do it again later um, with maximum impact, and it was just like, you know, ignored. And by the way, don't 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 worry about like it, this freezing and it wouldn't, wouldn't be in. Like it, it really doesn't matter. I play fighting games for fun. Um, and I, I speed run fun too. This is I wanted to just show off a really cool um, and interesting uh, fighting game for the event. And Wild Ambition I think doesn't fail to entertain. And I'm glad everyone in chat seemed to enjoy it. And d but I, I'm serious. Don't worry about the, the the freezing. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, Street Fighter EX. This is kind of you know Capcom's uh, Street Fighter EX. Um, the difference being that it wasn't a different company that made it. It was SNK themselves. Um, later, though, Maximum Impact would be a different branch. 11.53, not that bad. We don't get to show the bonus, but th that's my fault. I just I took a few uh, round losses. Uh, you know, this game, it's completely random who you fight in between. And unfortunately, we got um, Toji and like some of the other characters. Yamazaki uh, was uh, just a, a bad misplay for me, but... Other than that, the run went really well. I got to show off like a lot of the tricks and combos uh, because the AI was fighting so well. And that, that's why this is kind of a good fight. A lot of fighting games get pushed down because people think, well, it's you have to do the same, it's the same move over and over again. But there's a few fighting games out there that really make for great speed runs, and this is one of them because um, when it's perfect, you know, yes, you might see the same combo every again, but you get to see an actual combo and you actually get the, the skill of the player and having to think on your feet and things like that so was able to get a a no continue clear which is awesome but uh yeah it looks like round uh no round losses how you fight mr karate so if you want to try for yourself definitely try that out um and thanks again to instant sim and everyone else putting on this event i really appreciate it i hope everyone has a good time at the event enjoys it i'll be watching on stream uh, shout outs to everyone and shout outs to the next runner. Uh, Garlip's son is running Mr. Blobby and the chance the gloom below. Again, I, I love this event because it, it just it feels like we get to see all these games that we don't get to at other events. And um, it, it just makes me want to tune in for the whole thing. And I'll definitely be doing that. So good luck to everybody. Um, I'll be looking at your runs and and cheering on for you. And thanks again for having me. I hope to come back no next time. Thank you very much. Of course, we will absolutely accept you to every event that we possibly can. Then we're going over to, to our next run. So first of all, it's the final time for you there was, well, in uh, RTA was uh, 1606. I don't know if you do SDA or whatever on the... Uh, it's IGT. IGT is the way it goes. So yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to go over next to our next room, which is going to be Mr. Blobby Any Percent. This is pinnacle Britishness, this is, because Mr. Blobby is like a British, proper British character that <laughs> was on TV for like a while, and then uh, I don't, I think it stopped because I think it scared children. But anyway, this is going to be quite an interesting one. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to go over to that in just a moment, but first of all, we're going to put the, I'm going to put the interval on back and put some music on again as well. Uh, we're gonna go over to Mr. Blobby in about 10-15 minutes time uh, as soon as we've done the sound checks and all that stuff as well. So, thank you very much DDK for the run and we'll see you again soon. Don't forget everyone as well, we're doing a charge, there's some charge event for everyone can. If you'd like to donate, then if you go to interspeed.donation.wales forward slash donate and that will take you to the donation page uh, where you can donate there as well. So thank you so much for taking part and we'll see you again soon.